welcome back to Dee Dee's Place. And today we're going to do two things. We're going to we're going to read the story Henry's Awful Mistake by Robert Quackenbush. But to go with this, we're going to do a snack craft, and we're going to make a snack to go along with a story that's related to it. And at the very beginning of this story, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a whole bunch of ants going across the page. And this is a story that has an ant in it. So we are going to make ants on a log. It's a very fun thing to make. They're yummy and they're good for you. So you are going to need for tools, you're just going to need a cutting board, a child safe knife. So I'm just using a little plastic knife and then a, a serving plate to put it on after. So that's it, just those are your three tools. And your ingredients that you will need are celery, just three ingredients. So you need celery, and you're gonna need peanut butter, and then you'll need raisins. And you can either use, if you, you can use any kind of nut butter that you want. If you don't want to use peanut butter, you could use almond butter or cashew butter or whatever butter. And you can use craisins instead of the raisins if you want to do that. Okay, so the first thing that you always do before you cook is you always wash your hands. So I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to go wash my hands and then I'm going to come back. And then you may want to have an apron on. I always wear an apron when I'm in Dee Dee's kitchen. And... So if you have an apron, put that on because peanut butter can be messy. And make sure your hands are clean. So we're going to stop so Dee Dee can wash her hands. Okay, so my hands are all clean. I hope your hands are clean too. And so now we're going to take our tools. Remember our cutting board. And we have our celery. This is a celery that's um, a, stick, a stalk of celery that's all clean. And celery... If you look in the little notes, it's going to show you that celery is spelled with a C, but C has two different kinds of sounds. It has a k, k, k sound like in cat, but it also sometimes can have an S sound. And this time it has the S sound, celery. So you're going to need the celery and the cutting board, and now you're going to need your knife. And so the first thing we're going to do is just cut off the, the ends, both ends into little pieces, and you're not gonna keep these, because usually these are a little bit dry, they don't taste good, and we compost, so they're gonna go in our compost. We might talk about that another day, or you can just put them in the trash. And then you're gonna take the rest of your celery stalk, and you're gonna cut it into three equal pieces. So that means you're only gonna cut twice, but that will make three pieces. This is called cutting in thirds. So I have three pieces, they're about the same, about the same size. This one's a little longer. And then we're going to take our peanut butter and we're going to spread the peanut butter on the celery right in that little hole in the middle. And the peanut butter is sticky. And that's what we want it to be because we want it to be sticky enough for the, the ants to stick on it. But they're not real ants. And so you're going to do that to all three pieces. And after it's on all three pieces, then you're going to take three raisins. You can put more than that on it if you want, but I usually put three on it. So you take three raisins and you just put them on top of that peanut butter. And the peanut butter is kind of like glue. And you put them on top and see it looks like little ants on there. So this is called ants on the log. And then you're going to put it on your plate. And then it's going to be ready to eat. So you can snack on these while Dee Dee reads the story about Henry's awful mistake. So see you in a minute when we're ready to read. 